now we're going to talk about where the energy in the waves of water comes from. Where does that energy come from? It comes from exiting gravity. If you have an atom, key ring atom, you have a gravity particle going to it. Now, if you had like the wind blowing, and the wind comes in and it hits water, a wave of water, when it hits it, the speed of the wind is going to have a particle that's going to come out. The exiting gravity is going to change its state from gravity, exiting gravity, and then it's going to be what I call slow sound. When it collides with the water, it's going to be a particle that's going to be in a corkscrew shape. Now, what happens in a wave of water? Well, you know it goes up and down like this. But there is a three-dimensional phenomenon that causes what looks like 2D. So, when this collides with the water from the air, you get a, you know, like if you have thousands of these, millions of these, billions of these, when they collide, it's like a large school of fish, and the particle changes states and swims through the water, causing the wave to go up and down. That's why waves can travel thousands of miles, just like a particle of light that's going through the, from the sun to here, that goes millions of miles, so you shouldn't have any problem with a particle that's exiting out of an atom, swimming through the water, causing the waves for thousands of miles. The speed of what this is, when it hits the water, is going to be the speed of the wave. Now, take a boat. When a boat goes by, it produces waves. Why? Because we have a collision with the boat and the water. Now. How do tsunamis go so fast? Well, whenever you have an earthquake, you have a large landmass and it shifts, and it shifts at 600 miles an hour, what's going to be the speed of the tsunami? It's going to take that huge mass of the, where the earthquake was, it's going to be transferred into the water, and all those particles enter, if it's at 600 miles an hour, it's going to go at 600 miles an hour. That's how tsunamis are able to produce such devastation and destruction because you have so many particles. And of course we know tsunamis will go thousands of miles. That's what causes waves in water is exiting gravity. Gravity goes in, comes out as a particle, has a new state, it changes state, it is in the water. And it's that easy. It's because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.